Also new at 11, concerns now rising among some parents about sending their kids to school tomorrow. In the wake of the shooting, how can students stay safe at school and what can schools do? News 6's Eric Sandoval asked those questions tonight. He joins us live in the studio. Eric, what did you find out? Well, Matt and Lisa, we spoke with an expert on mass casualty and active shooter incidents tonight. He told us right now school districts spend 1% to 2% of their budget on security. And he says he wants to see that changed. When you heard about what happened today, what went through your mind? Oh, here we go again. Former police investigator Zach Hudson says today's mass shooting in South Florida should have never happened. Broward County investigators say the gunman tripped the fire alarm, luring students outside where he opened fire. So just last week at a Seminole County High School, somebody tripped the fire alarm as a joke. Last week it was a joke. Today it takes on a whole new significance. Yeah, the reality is active shooters, that's the way that they're luring people into kill zones. Hudson says he'd like to see tougher penalties on false fire alarms. He also wants to see metal detectors placed at all schools, more lockdown drills, school staff trained in basic life-saving techniques. But he says that is going to take money, money some districts say they don't have. At the end of the day, what price is it going to be to keep our kids safe? Now, until school districts can find the money for tighter security, Hudson says parents can help their children themselves. He said they need to make sure uh, they're aware of their surroundings and, more importantly, know where their exits are. Matt, Lisa? All right, Eric Sandoval, thank you.